Hi, this is the Hovercam. I will be demonstrating how you can use the Hovercam as a teaching tool. The Hovercam allows you to project images so that your students can see what you're doing or objects that you may have. The Hovercam comes with a mat with the hash marks, as you can see. It comes with the Hovercam itself. That's very easy to assemble. It also comes with this wire that you attach from the hover cam base to your computer. The disc that you would upload, then it's just in your applications in Mac. I'm not sure about PC. And the bag that you would stow it away in when you are all done. When I'm teaching geometry, it's really important for the students to know how to use a tool such as a protractor. A protractor can come in different ways. It can have the hole here, no hole, or something. So it's very important to demonstrate to the students how to use a protractor. I can go to this icon if I wanted to zoom in. Right now I'm at 101%. I can just slide this blue ball all the way over. And as you can see, I can zoom in to what I need the students to focus on. It can zoom all the way up to 400%, or you can decrease it. and go all the way, I'm not sure why you want to, but you could, to show the students what you're doing. The Hovercam can also project image using your iPad or your iPhone. I'm showing my iPad and I'm going to play a game with the students. Okay, I think I wanna turn it this way. And we'll be playing Slice It. I don't have the hover cam light on just because it'll be too bright. Maybe we'll try the circle. So if I want to take a picture of what I just showed, I come to this icon right here, the first camera icon, the red one, click it, and it'll take a picture of what I just constructed. If I do not want to show the pictures, I go to this bottom one right here, and I click on the little tiny squares, and it's gone. If I want to show the whole screen and not show all the students everything I have, I can click full screen and they can just focus on what I have in front of me. If I want to have the icons, I press escape and it's back how it was. The hover cam can also be used for art. Now, of course, I'm doing something simple, but let's say you wanted the students to really see what you're doing, how to use a tool. You can actually record yourself. So I can go to this icon with the big red dot in the center and I can record myself. So I can record myself of how I'm doing the different steps, how I'm cutting, how I... And when I'm done recording, I will click stop. And you can title it and store it where you want. The Hovercam can also be used to critique a piece of a student's work. Well, they can't really see that, that's upside down. So I will use these to rotate the image so that it is the way that you want the students to see. So now that's the correct way. Let me zoom so the students can see and we can critique the piece of writing together. The hover cam can also be used in history, especially for viewing maps, especially if you only have one map or you want to show the students how to use the map before you pass out to all the students. I can also scan this image Earlier I had it on video. Now I'm going to scan. And it only takes like three seconds to scan the image. I hope that you will consider getting this teaching tool to add to your box of teaching supplies. For slightly over $200, it's quite affordable. Remember, the Hovercam is the tool for you. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.